everybody, I'm Timree and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do a simple springtime buddy and it is super cute. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to start off with, I'm going to use, I've got my four brushes that I always use. My fatty, my medium, my baby, and my tween. But today I'm actually going to use this extra large brush and that's really great for doing the large spaces. So let's go ahead, I'm just going to take my this big brush, I'm gonna tap a little water, and I'm gonna get right in that white, and zhuzh it, push it, push it, move it. I like to grab the biggest chunk of white I possibly can. Look at how big that is. And then I'm gonna grab a chunk of the light blue. Notice that I don't even mix it, I just grab a big chunk of it. When you're ready, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it off. And you'll notice that you have white moments and blue moments, and that's what you want. You wanna have that kind of like artsy look to it. I'm just gonna go around. Here, this is gonna be where my bunny's gonna be, like so. Also, I kind of feel like if you have that little white in it, it's kind of like a little cloud in the sky that you can kind of put in there later. So I'm just gonna go through it like so, just like that. I'm always tapping a little water, that way I have good water on my brush. It's also okay if you have like a little bit of dark moments, a little bit of light moments here and there like so, that way it kind of back and forth, you know, has that cool kind of like artsy feel. You never want it to look too perfect. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and I'm going to grab my um, medium brush here. I'm going to take my medium brush, tap a little water. I'm going to show you this really pretty light petal pink color. And I'm going to grab light petal pink and a little chunk of white, like so. I'm going to go ahead I got a little chunky there, I'm not gonna lie. You just take your finger. There's nothing neat about paint, just like it on my pants. People ask me all the time how I get my paint pants, and that's exactly how. I just, it's the real deal. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of put his little bunny ears, like so. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab just a little bit of hot pink. And just add just like a little pink to it, just like that. Just what so kind of has like a little darker hue. It's not so, just like that. Great, okay, let's go ahead and I'm gonna wash it, wash it. And I'm gonna grab a little bit of that chocolate. I'm gonna push it, push it, move it. I always have a good zhuzh on my chocolate. And I'm gonna grab it, I'm gonna go ahead and fill him in, like so. And your brush goes two ways. Your brush can go fatty, and your brush can go skinny. So in my skinny position, I'm just gonna kind of pull it down, like so. Like so, a little bit more. This is two bunny ears. We're gonna go back and add highlights and shadows. You see how I got a little white in it? That's okay. That's okay. We can always go back. Let's go back to it. Just like that. And just take your time. I always find kind of like the faster you go, that way there's not um, a jagged line. It seems to be smoother. So let's kind of come over here. Let's do this little face. And if you're kind of choppy with your paint like that, that way it kind of gives it a little texture to it. And I like to have it a fluffy bunny, like that. Again, I'm just grabbing big chunks of chocolate and bringing it down, always adding a little water on my brush. Again, kind of like the more paint, the better, like so. And here he is. I'm bring all the way down. I'm gonna do like a whole bunch of flowers down here, just like that. Okay, let's go ahead and shadow our. Um, actually, I'm gonna add some highlights to it. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of white, and we call it ugly mustard. A little bit of ugly mustard. Put a little chocolate in that, like so. And let's gonna kind of like on his like little bridge of his nose, and then here's his little puffy little cheek right there. Come around. And then just to kind of show where his neck is, I'm just going to have a little highlights. And I'm barely touching the canvas. I'm barely touching it. I always say it's kind of like frosting a cake. It's like trying to put white frosting on chocolate frosting. Barely touch it because it's going to, going to blend in. And honestly, that's kind of like what you want. You want it to have a little blend in there. That's what makes it cute. Like so. And then I'm not even going to wash my brush. I'm going to add maybe just like a little bit of black. So I'll grab a little bit of black, a little bit of chocolate. And I'll kind of take that black up in here and bring it down. Just again, just to add some more texture 
to your bunny. Gives it just like a little bit of shape in there. Like so. Okay, now it's fine. time to do some um, flowers. So let's go ahead and wash and wash it, wash and wash it again. All right, let's go ahead and start with um, some big kind of red flowers. I'm gonna take some dark red and a little bit of magenta. I love using this magenta lately. Let's go ahead and do these big petals. Like so, these big petals. And sometimes if you just take that and just corner just a tiny little bit of white, notice it'll just give it like a little, little highlight. It'll just kind of blend in, just like so. We're gonna go around. And even if you get like a little chocolate in it, that's no problem. It kind of like, it creates like a little shadow there. So I'm gonna grab some of that magenta. If you like more magenta than the red, then go ahead and do that. And then let's add a little baby one over here. Just like so, we're gonna add a little baby one in there. I'm not quite sure what these flowers are called, but it's all good. I'm gonna grab a little bit more white, just to add that little highlight in there, really kind of helps it, like so. Okay, let's go ahead and wash it, wash it. And I'm actually gonna grab my fatty brush. I love using the brush. I kinda like, I always like using a big brush. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my fatty brush. I'm gonna zhuzh you that pretty yellow. And I'm gonna grab a big chunk of white. Again, notice how much paint I have on my brush. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna take it, I'm gonna push it and then move it, just like so. Take another big chunk of yellow and white. I'm gonna push it and move it, just like that. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit more of that ugly mustard. And I just, again, take the little corner here and I'm just gonna kind of, kind of create almost like it's a little yellow rose. Just has like a little texture in it, like so. Just like that. Let's do kind of like a corally color. So I'm not even gonna wash my brush with my hands. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of hot pink. So I have yellow and hot pink. And when you're ready, you're just gonna go ahead, push it and move it. And notice it kind of gives it like a pretty kind of orange color. You can take a little white to it. Just barely touch it, just like so. I might do another one over here. Kind of move my cup. And they always kind of turn different colors. Maybe this time I'll take a little hot pink Put a little hot pink in there, like so. Okay, I'm gonna wash it, wash it, wash it, wash it good. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a big chunk of hot pink, big chunk of white. Again, look at how much paint. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that one right here. And then it kind of allows your painting to have like a good texture to it too, having all those colors. I'm gonna come up here, let's do another one. Another pink one. This time I might add a little bit of that magenta color to kind of off kind of set the the rose a little bit. Maybe it's a peony, maybe it's a rose, you know, maybe it's a carnation, whatever, you know. I'll just add a little extra right here, a little white, just like so. Cute! Okay, oh, wash it, wash it. Let's go ahead and grab our um, medium brush. I'm gonna take a little bit more yellow, a little bit of white. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in. And notice that I'm not doing a perfect circle, I'm just kind of poking it, like so. I'm just kind of adding like a little pokey pokey. Like that. And I'm gonna take my tween brush, tap a little water, I'm gonna zhuzh a little black. I'm gonna take that black and I'm gonna do a couple little dots around it. I like that black because it just gives like a nice little contrast to it. Just like so. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and let's grab our medium brush. I'm gonna grab my medium brush and I'm gonna go ahead and zhuzh the green. Push it, push it, move it. And again, my green has a little um, white in it, that's okay. I'm gonna grab a little yellow, just like so. Again, I don't even mix it on my plate. I'm gonna do, go straight to the canvas. I kind of wipe it off, and I'm gonna go ahead and just fill in all the little areas. And if you go ahead and if you get a little red in it, that's okay, because just remember, when you do the leaves and stuff like that, leaves sometimes have like a little red, um, you know, like a little red border to it. I'm gonna go ahead and come through in here. I'm moving pretty fast, but obviously you're welcome to take your time while doing so. This, I've got a huge glob right here. So this one's definitely gonna pull in some of the yellow. But that's okay. Let's come in here. Go ahead and pull this in here. And again, your brush goes two ways. Your brush can go fatty and skinny. So in your skinny position, go ahead and just kind of bring it in there 
And if you get too much red, just like I did, just go ahead and wipe it off. I wipe it off on my pants. But just go ahead and wipe it off and, you know, and then continue. Like so. Again, I'm just going to come through. And sometimes I'll kind of poke it a little bit. Sometimes I'll, you know, just get it done. Okay, let's do it a little bit right here. And then lastly, right here. I might have missed a couple spots, but you can always go back to that later. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take my brush, tap a little water, and this time I kind of like flatten it out. I don't do a perfect zhuzh. I kind of flatten out my brush, and in my skinny position, I'm gonna go ahead and just do some green grass right in here, out to the side, like so, just like that. And then I kind of like to take my brush, I'll add a little, a little black to the green. So it's like a dark, dark forest color. And then I'll kind of add, notice that when you add that little dark to it, look at the difference. You can kind of look at it going over my flower. That's crazy. That's okay. You want to kind of have a couple little moments in there. Kind of just breaks it up a little bit. Just kind of breaking it up like so. And then I'm going to do a couple that are going to kind of come here, a little up here. And you're like, I wonder what those are going to be. But we'll get back to that in a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit more green and a little bit of pretty yellow, a little white. I'm going to go ahead and do just some like leaves like so. And then a little bit more here. Like that. Just like so. Cute. Okay, let's go ahead and do some lavender. That's one of my most favorite things to paint. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually take my tween brush. And I'm going to zhuzhi the dark purple. I'm going to zhuzhi the dark purple. I'm going to grab a little chunk of white, like so. And then how I do it is like I lightly push, and then I push a little harder. So I'll start up here, and I'll lightly push it. Push, 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 push. And then I'll push a little harder, like that. You can add a little bit more white to it, just like so. I'll grab a little bit more purple. Maybe I'll we'll do one right here. I'll barely push it, and then I push it a little harder, like that. It kind of pulls it together. And always feel free to kind of go back and over some of your paint. I might come over here. I'll push it. I'll just push it a little harder. Adding a little bit more white to it. Like so let's just add a couple little lavender sprigs here and there. We can always go back and add the green, you know, the little stem there. Or else should we put one? I don't know, maybe we'll put one over here. Like that. Maybe you have one that's like double, like so. And again, just take your little green, kind of flatten it, just kind of make sure it has a stem. Don't want it to be so low. Okay, let's go ahead and do the little nose. So I'm gonna take the light pink, and maybe a little hot pink, mix it together. And I'm just gonna push two little, almost like a little V shape. I'm just gonna like this, I'm just gonna push it down, push it down, it's almost like a little heart. And then I'll come back and let's do the eye. Okay, I'm gonna take a little light brown, a little brown and a little white. A little brown and a little white. I'm just gonna kind of shape, I'm just gonna kind of shape where that eye is gonna go. It's gonna go about right there. And I'm gonna take my tween. I'm just gonna do a black little eye like so. I might do a couple little little freckles, like that. And then only eyes always needs a little highlight. So I'm gonna take my baby brush finally, tapping water, and I like to zhuzh the white, and I like to zhuzh it, and then I twist it to a point. And I'm just gonna do almost like a backward C. We'll see, and this is where you definitely take your time. Do a little dot, or something like that. that. You can always, like, it's always important to kind of, like, step back. Step back a little bit from your painting to kind of see what's going on there. Like so. And then finally, I mean, this looks great, but you can always go back. Maybe we'll add, you know, some little white little flowers, some, like, little baby's breath, maybe. Poking here and there. Just a little, couple little white. If you ever have kind of, like, an awkward moment where, like, you know, maybe you need to have some little filler. Just add a little white, just some like little flowers, just 
some like little, little white dots. Nothing too serious, just like a little something. And then finally, the most important thing is you must always sign your name. And I'm just gonna do it right here in the corner. Timory. And of course, my last name's Gold, so I gotta put Gold by my name. And that's it, there's your spring bunny. Hey everybody, if you liked my video, please subscribe to my new YouTube channel. And you can also see more on my website at timry.com. If you'd like to see more, also leave a comment on what you'd like to see me paint.